We have begun. All right, let's do the brief introductions first. I'm Bruce. Yeah. I'm Princess Rio. I'm Ariana Darling. I'm Jenna. And I'm Abdul All right. I'm Kay. Okay. Uh, can someone introduce Rainbow Mirrors as briefly as possible? Okay. Rainbow Mirrors is a, an LGBTI community based uh, club, drama group, that basically involves the youths in drama and theoretical arts. That actually brings about more education and social recognition to the LGBTI members in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, yes, Rainbow Mirrors is an initiation of young youth from age uh, 18 to 29 years of age with their concept of goals. We get together through theoretical and then through programs, workshops and seminars to bring out the challenges and the problems and the inefficiency of laws in Uganda. But we want to use drama basically as the best component because it's a mindset to people. So we came up and then decided that in order to bring out our message to the outside world, we need to use drama and the platform. So it's a very good communication media to the community also, and also to give back to service to our members of the community. Uh, how was this concept perceived? Um, actually, the, the concept was perceived in January. That was last year. But then, when, when we sit down as we young members, we have challenges and decisions and, and portray what we want to do. So we, we sat down and thought of something that can actually bring us all together. Because most, if you look at most people in the blue, uh, people are youth that lost opportunities of education, are youth that lost opportunities of employment, homeless, some have insecurity, some are still in school, but you know how things are, they're not very easy. So we we got that concept after getting through all the challenges, like how we, the young LGBT members face, we sat down and thought of something that can actually be, become generative, that can actually be more education. So in January, we started that. But to get it to platform and to get it to working, it was some four months work where I sat with some people and uh, I drafted a constitution for that group. Uh, we sat down and also drafted what we thought would be right for us to go. We initiated it as a group. We have been having very many meetings and very many sessions on how best we can bring out the products we want, on how best we can. Uh, Activate, or activate our modes in drama because modes of drama are like flow for dramas but then we want to use them as an employment opportunity as a way of expression to the public All right. uh, normally I would ask this last but um, anything especially concepts like this need money what are you doing for money? Okay, with money basics, it's a, it's a little bit crucial and very sensitive. It's a very sensitive matter and very crucial. Because this is not a, 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 an organization, it's just a group of little LGBT members. Finances haven't been so good, but we have a positive thought in us that you rather strive and fail, but never fail to try. We have been looking for ways possible and how we can actually initiate money in the group to make the activities work. But it has been fatal. But we actually have an event. We, we are planning an event in progress, all in process. This event is basically about fundraising and money for the LGBTI youth group as it is, or the Rainbow Mirrors Uganda as it is. That, that event is supposed to be in December, that's amazing. Uh, we have a play that we're supposed to actually premiere. It's called Behind the Closet I Am. So this is a play that is supposed to be there in December. But 
We don't know if it, its existence is going to bring good or bad because finances are out and it needs planning, it needs uh, budgeting, it needs allocation and the members also need resources because you will not sit down and then tell them I don't have money or I don't have any way I can get money. But we need to have rehearsals, we need to have costumes, we need to have refreshments. So with finances basically, when I look through the finance act of course, I think nothing is there but we sustain with personal provision and dedication to the process. So the success of the process. Right. Um so apart from the play, is there anything else you've done so far or are planning to do in the very near future? Um, like apart from the play, we actually tried contacting uh, service providers of the LGBT community. We tried contacting Iraf, we tried contacting Chantafon, Sparks, Spectrum, Icebreakers. We are lucky some some, we, we can say some organizations came to our response. But for that event to happen, we need money, which is not bad. So we, we sat down and thought of a way other than borrowing to make something. We can do a charity personal donation. Aside from what we want as a project. But to make that day be successful and graceful, we decided to do a door-to-door -door organization donation. Either personal, someone can be personal, some can be organizational. To see that we make our dreams come true. We have conducted, like, I've, I've met some, so many people from MAPS Network, how do you attribute that? I've met some people from Icebreakers Uganda, I've met with Bira, I've met with Mark, I have meetings with them. However, it has not been a very good turn up because people don't like think it's, it's really going to come out. Something it's fraud, something it's, it's, they do, I don't know how they perceive it. Because you you'll see that for now two months I sent emails. I've received responses from people in the whole LGBT ID. So it also becomes a challenge as as and my glue because I have I brought I we have the idea, but how do we sell it? You cannot come out and you tell someone that I have this idea. But how are you going to help this person realize the idea he has? So that has also been a challenge. Like people are not perceiving us in a very positive way. You will make an appointment with someone and then someone will be like, oh, I think I'll do that. So we're having that challenge. But then when I come back to my community members, I always give them a positive reply. Because I need to give them self-esteem, they need to have self-discipline, and they also need to have confidence in their own beings. That is some of the things that we have been trying. We have been doing a door-to-door organization, charity to the over to the event. Um, drama is a very tricky tactic to use for sensitization. While it is very effective, how do you plan to keep people interested? Because it's like uh, being an artist. After a while, your music starts to sound the same, starts to become monotonous. How do you plan to keep it fresh every time? Um, now, with that drama, like like I said before, drama is a medium for self uh, for self mental expression. To we are not only going to be an LGBTI group. It's not it's not um, it's not something that is so crucial. Drama is big. Because when we look at drama, we have musical drama, we have theoretical drama, we have poetry drama. So there are a lot of innovations, but then we can't do them or we can't innovate most of the dramas. Because most members, some are good in musical, some are good in songwriting, some are good in acting. So to make the thing more crucial and uh, to make this thing big, to make it fun, every time we have an event, we plan to bring innovations as a way long term goal because we, we have to be thinking a lot and ability has to be used. But then, drama, 
being a mature emotional sense of humor. We want to be like, we want to be mature in mind. When you sit down and you look at rainbow mirrors today, and then you look at a long term goal of rainbow mirrors, how are we progressing? How are members proving the right for us? We thought in order to be productive, a long term process of being productive, we shall be having quarterly, quarterly events. Because I is in three quarters. So we shall be having three shows in Iowa. Three shows. You're doing quarters, shouldn't it be four? Yes, there's supposed to be four. So we are supposed to be four. Four, four, four shows. But then two about the play, two about performances. Then the other two that we plan to do are about sensitization. How we do a play then we get to a general community discussion. But it's an event, but again, we are trying to get ideas in here and there. So we are trying to capture people's minds so that it does not become a boring session all along. It's interactive, informative, and educative. So that's the goal. Mm. Um, where do you see Rainbow Mirrors in about five years? Um, I'm, I'm looking at it being a productive group. That is the first thing. Mm. Our major target is exposure of the challenges and the problems in this homophobic country. I'm looking at rainbow mirrors in five years to come. Educative, first of all, an educative group, a steady platform of communication, and uh, another thing I look at it as success, uh, a very successful group. Because we are looking at progress of our members. What kind of other activities can you do apart from job, apart from political science, apart from writing? Science? So this glue is basically about empowering. So when we look at the five years to run with all the activities and all the, the plans we have, we shall see that um, most of our members, some are going to, some are good at hairdressing, some are good at craft and designing, but they need that essential training. So when we go ahead with money we get from the glue, and the fundraising and the events, this money is, best for the youth empowerment of very different skills and also to see that we progress in a long run that this does not end in a one year day or a two year but we need a long term success and that can be achieved only if we have commitment and i realize you're the only person speaking can i hear from the other members what would you want to get out of rainbow mirrors It's like, according to me, remember I'm running the mirrors. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm praying so hard that to, I'm so sorry about it, to express our views to, to this homophobic state, to make sure that even as the gays, the LGBTI community, that we are also human, we are, we are normal, we are not abnormal, as they say, we can also do something to the community, and we are productive. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, to me, to me, expressing myself, my because I'm in this group as a trans woman, and it's expressing myself to the individual people, yes, to tell them what I am, and I need them to know more about me. I think it will be successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also buy Ariana's idea because I also want to see myself like I can do something to the community. In addition to what this guy said, um, that we are not abnormal. At, at least we can do something like to, to, to make this community 
Like you need to Maybe empower these people because yeah. for the last years they've been there. Because if you see these organizations, they are living in the like, work uh -huh. and they are hiding in danger. So we need them to, at least us, to make a job like that. Mm. Yes. So we need them to see what we are. We, what we, we want do. to use rainbow mirrors. Most organizations, most groups are having pay. But then there is someone out there who is not even having an idea about how even to live an A or a Z. Here, most people in the community are not schooling. Someone never went to school, but he needs to get the ideas of what really goes on. You get what I'm trying to do? So we need to get to use this as a medium of communication with our own native language, with our, with our own native religion, with our own native identity so that we don't show any discrimination that of race or gender or release because we are all together we are all marginalized we are all minded so we are family we are one however the hardships are like what we are just one family as the right thing was we are family 2015 yeah um, what's your niche we have too many groups and organizations in this community and at the end of the day i think they basically do the same thing. What are you bringing to the table that would be a little different? Um, I think to them, they fit us. We compare the mm -hmm. two things: the drama group and the organization. Mm -hmm. I think we'll do the we, 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 we will sensitize the people mm -hmm. through our acts, not in words. They do and, the sensitization um, in words. So we need to act those things and they see them, what are they? So you're going more and, practical. Uh, to supplement on yes. her idea, okay, it's like portraying. When we say up, we're going to bring different themes. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring this different themes and we shall be acting as per those themes accordingly. So we want to when you want to bring a theme of HIV, we want to portray it and it is going to how to safeguard yourself and besides it's all about passion and commitment. So rainbow mirrors, like um we're gonna start up something to do for the LGBTI community from the drama and then we shall portray it out because you know most LGBTI community because of their she's a trans woman so no one can't go in someone's office to ask for a job but once this is only brought up she, she, we are going to start those ideas like Hajat mentioned so it will be helping us to earn at least as we people so some of us we rent we provide everything to our, ourselves the rainbow mirrors when we see us ourselves have a lot of intentions and targets for the rainbow mirrors at least we shall be good thing, to go and uh, we shall chase our poverty. If it comes to the community, we, okay, if you talk about trans issues in the community, it becomes a problem. <laughs> we are talking about stigma every time, sensitization about stigma in the individual people, but it's in with us. So there's transphobia even yeah. within the community. Uh, within yeah. the yeah, right. So we need, we, we, we are doing this show them what does it mean we are family yeah so a majority of the members of rainbow mirrors trans no. yeah some of them are trans some, some of are them trans. are gay now this is an lgbt yeah. community yeah so we have sex workers we have we have very many we have gays roughly we have we have, we have gays five now managing this kind of when, when you look at uh, the maturing of rainbow mirrors, I would basically say, like you asked, how are we different from these other organizations? Yeah. First and foremost, I would love to clarify, this is not an organization. Yeah. This is a drama. It's a project. It's actually, it's, it's, it's actually something we love to do, because drama is what we love to do. So it is a drama group. The difference between us is they do the paperwork, we do the practical side. When you get to the mental side being of a normal human being, a human being, an African learns more by eyes than they have paper written. So when you get to someone's mental thinking and you, you really get the, the capturing 
of that person's mind. Something good can be communicated. Because if you talk about HIV in the LGBTI community, we have members who are like, they were born with HIV and are in the LGBT community. Someone, someone comes with, with some homophobia like, I never got it from a dog, I got it from a person, so I should send it to someone else. So those are some of, but then when you talk to people, people are like, these things really don't exist. But never in America, so they're like, they're showing off. Yeah. So we need to bring this out. Other than words, we need to show these people that this real thing is really there. To the outside world, you know, guys kill themselves, guys take poison, but because of depression, anxiety, and trauma, desperation, but then these things are not looked at as in jail. Youths are going to drug addiction. You get it. We resort. You like, I get away from home, I have nowhere to go. Then I resort to drugs. When I resort to this drug, how are they going to take me? Nothing is there to show that. Because they when think you it's get them off that. Yes, when you do this, this is the outcome of it. The youth need to be opened up in mind. But not via words, but via action. And that's what Rainbow Mirrors is all. To open up their head targets. That we can that pump target. Because our target are the sexual and gender minorities in the exactly. Alright, I see your budget is fifteen hundred dollars. Actually, one thousand one fifty hundred. Is this an annual budget? Oh, is it just the project budget as of the play or? No, not really. Yeah, no. With the project budget, because. Um, um, with, with the budget that we actually had estimated for, like, uh, like you asked for, the annually, it's not annually. Mm. That, is, um, that was budget for the first phase of the project like the first phase of the club we have a lot of things to actually start up like say we need to get training space we need to get trainers we need to get facilitation from very many different people in order to equip us like most most of our members are good in acting but then they need to impart skills on how do you bring it out if you want to bring out a current yeah so that that budget of one pound to was or is the amount that we actually estimated for the first phase of the project or the first phase of the club. Then we have an event which we actually trying to call upon members to come and join us because it's our day. It's it's the youth day in the LGBT. Because for us, we are going to be turning it 19th December Youth Day in the LGBT community. Because that's why for us we are going to come. So it's our youth day. As we the youth in the LGBT community, what are we bringing? What is going to be expected on that day? Performances from the youths, that is the first thing. Exhibitions of what we have done as we, the Rainbow Mirrors. What do we do most? Are we have singers, are we have dancers? Do people do good at art? So we are going to have an exhibition at how this is, how, how we can use our talents in this. We have a budget of uh, around uh, seven, is it 700? Yeah, 700 US dollars for that day, that event. And then we have a budget for, for the rehearsals. It's around uh, 500 US dollars. So the total of the event and the, and the rehearsals for the members, because rehearsals are supposed to kick off very soon, but because we don't have resources right now, we have had a standstill on them. So basically the, the, the better, better, budget estimation for 700 US dollars for the event and then 500 US dollars for the rehearsals for the members. It's around 1,200 US dollars. It's okay, we actually don't do that. Alright, anything else you'd want to share with the community in general? 
Um, anything we just want to call upon the the new members, the youth, like new members, the they youth like to just to join the group so they can just assist their talent and skills and uh, yeah, the development of all these. Because people are out there and just don't want depressed them to and because uh, we want them to to to, to come here. Partnership, yes, and then partnership with different kinds of people. Yeah. People to come on board with us, and then we look at how we can do it right. We just call that support with all the different people we're going to be, and anyone that can actually help us out in any way possible to make our day come on the 19th of December. Tram, we shall be very welcome, we shall be glad. And any contribution they are, they are free to actually contact us because we have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. Rainbow Girls Uganda. Then we have our WhatsApp groups, Rainbow Girls Uganda. Then we have an email that is Rainbow Girls at gmail.com. Because that the email is Rainbow Girls78 at gmail.com. So they can contact us through that, then we can give them more of the details. But we just call upon because we, we need, need them more than anything. We don't need, even if it's moral, even if it's financial, even if it's support on board, we just need them to be And then the ideas and solutions and everything. So let's come together as we say the LGBTI with our family and crack this thing down. We shall do it right. Thank you very much. Merci. 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 Merci.